What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, let's talk about the teaser trailer released by ROX yesterday pertaining to the upcoming fourth job in the game. But before we start the video, do you have problems AFK grinding in ROX? Do you always worry that you may overcharge or the battery of your phone, tablet, or laptop may overheat? Do you worry about your electricity bill when grinding using your personal computer that is running for days non-stop? Or do you encounter intermittent connection from your internet service provider which disconnects your character when AFK grinding? Well, if that is the case, then UG Phone can solve all of your problems. UG Phone is a cloud phone that runs independently in the cloud and it does not consume the memory or battery of your physical device. Even if you close the UG Phone app, your game will still continue to run in the cloud, which makes this the perfect phone for AFK grinding for 24 hours, 7 days a week non-stop. Nice. You can also run multiple instances of UG Phone in one account, which allows you to play and grind multiple games simultaneously. As you can see, my Shura and Royal Guard are AFK grinding at the same time. UG Phone is available in Google Play for Android, App Store for iOS, Windows Store for PC, and you can also use a web browser to run UG Phone. So if you want to try out UG Phone, you can use my link shown in the description below. And you can also use my invitation code which really helps me out. So thank you guys and thank you UG Phone for the sponsor. Now let's get back to the video. I know what all of you guys are thinking right now. It's about time. And I totally agree. It's about time that they release the 4 jobs in ROX for all regions. I'm also sure that you might have seen videos about this from other content creators since this was first released in the Taiwan server. The main reason why I didn't really do any videos about that is because there is no English language in the game for that region and it will be hard for me to accurately translate the description in the English language. So most likely, I will do a review video on the 4 jobs once it has been released in the Southeast Asian servers. For now, I will only do a reaction video on the teaser trailer posted by ROX in the official Facebook page. Before we jump into the video, let's first read the description that was posted by ROX. After a long-term training and facing dangerous challenges, well that is so true. We all have been training for 3 years now waiting for the release of the 4th jobs. The first 6 classes shall have their own 4th class unlocked. Now this is pretty understandable in my opinion. Of course, they will prioritize the OG classes, which are the Knight, Priest, Wizard, Assassin, Hunter, and Blacksmith. If you remember when they first released ROX, these 6 were the first classes that we were able to play during those times. So I think it is also fitting that they should also be the first classes to have a 4th job in the game. And again, I'm sad that the other classes doesn't have their own 4th jobs yet, like the Shura or the Royal Guard. But I do understand how they are planning to implement this in the game, as they are going to implement this in different patches. Anyway, let's continue reading. They will also have advanced skills and new mounts. And that is to be expected since we are changing to a higher job. Now, let's look at the 4 jobs from the teaser that they have released. Man, I like the design of some of the jobs. Especially the new design of the warm. That looks so good. The color scheme of the assassin's design as well as the warg is quite similar, especially when it comes to the black and purple color scheme. When it comes to the dragon knight, cardinal, and archmage, I don't think that there are huge changes in their design, if I'm going to be honest. Same with the blacksmith, maybe a different color scheme but not really that significant. So for the dragon knight's description, formidable attack strength, I guess we will be getting a lot more DPS skills from the 4th iteration. Wait, hold up. Is this the new mount for the Dragon Knight? What the heck just happened? I think this is a bit small if you compare it to the Rune Knight's mount. So when you reach a higher class, your dragon shrinks because it can now fly? I mean, visually, I think the Royal Guard's Griffin 
looks bigger than this one. But anyway, I was just surprised on how the new mount looked visually. Maybe I was just expecting a bit more, or a bit fearsome if that is the right term. For the Cardinal, we have new skills, but they didn't really show any new mounts for that class. Same for the Arc Mage, more on the new skills and effects, but no mounts are shown. I guess, when we are talking about new mounts, maybe these are just for the classes who are required to ride a mount in combat, like the Knight, Hunter, and Blacksmith, if you consider the mech as a mount. For the Shadow Cross, the black and purple matches so well. Really like the color scheme for this one. Wow, we've got a lot of new flashy skills for the Shadow Cross. Even the Windhawk, bro. The new Warg color scheme is so good. Okay, so we have a lot of new skills. Probably a lot more AoE skills. Yo, what is that? Is that a new mount? A hawk carrying the hunter. That's so awesome, dude. I really like that. The visual effects and changes that they have made for the hunter class is so nice. For the maester, this is still the same mech design, right? I don't think they made any changes on this one. Probably just new skill effects and design. And that's it for this video. I'm very excited about this upcoming 4 jobs in the game. Oh, and by the way, I was browsing through the comment section of the post and I saw this response from the ROX Facebook moderator. I will no longer show the person's name who commented this in the post for their own privacy, but he was basically asking for the release date of the new class. Based on the response from ROX, this will happen within the year, so my best guess is this will be available on December 2024, because if you check the pattern of ROX, they usually implement big patches on June or December, together with big collaboration events. So brace yourselves and prepare for the upcoming 4 jobs in ROX. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, and if you want to see more ROX content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. GG! You're a superhero